Hey everyone, it's Elaine. Welcome back to my channel. I greatly appreciate you being here with me today. Anyway, I woke up this morning and I said to myself, Elaine, this is the day. Let's do a new video of your art studio. I'm coming up on my second anniversary of having built it and I have made some changes since that last video I have had up for a little while. Um, one thing is the outside of it has been totally stained twice I might add. I had asked my or excuse me my husband had asked me what I wanted for my birthday and it took me about six months to get my present but he surprised me and was out here one day staining the shed and uh, I, I really do appreciate it. He worked really hard on it. Um, so I think I probably need to get him off the hook for the next couple years anyway. But um, this is where my shed sits. It sits kind of in the middle of nothingness and nowhere. Um, like I said, this is all natural this morning. I've not done any raking or anything, but I will. And then my little house. But um, yeah. So I just wanted to kind of show you where I sit. I do call my shed the pine cone cabin because it does sit in the middle of some big, huge, giant pine trees. So with that being said, let's go on in. Um, I do have a gate up here and I have to tell you a little funny story while I walk. We have a new pound puppy and boy does she like to chew. I have a new mat because she chewed up the old mat. My swings are getting chewed on. So I had to do something in self-defense. So right now she's in her kennel in the back and uh, asleep, thank heavens. So let's go on in. I haven't been in here this morning. So you are going to see it as it is, work in progress or whatever you want to say. So you come in through the squeaky door and to the right, Behind the door is my little bathroom. Um, the curtain, I didn't put up a door. What I did is I made a curtain out of fabric samples. And some of my artwork surrounds the bathroom. Um, and that's something I collaged. And up above the porch and the bathroom, I do have a little bit of storage area. And I like it. Um, of course, I have it full. Just things that I don't need every day, but I can put my hands on. So anyway, let's go back to the door. Off to the left of the door is my little kitchen area. And um, coffee pot, toaster oven, um, microwave, and then of course the refrigerator. And then on this side, I was going to make it lace. And then I decided I was going to make it things that I have multiples of. You know, like you buy two things of gesso and you open both of them. So I was putting the second one over here. So this is still yet to be determined. It might end up being a little bit of both. Um, but anyway, so that's that. That was an old gun cabinet that my husband's parents gave him when he graduated high school. And um, I figured out a way to put shelves in it without putting nails in it. So pretty ingenious on my part. My husband was very surprised. And then this little table when you come in is my takeover to the house table. If there's something that I'm working on but I need to go to the house, that's my little traveling thing. And then you're going to see a bunch, let me get my finger in here, a bunch of suitcases and stuff that are works in progress. Now, you all know I used to work for a general contractor, so I have a lot of construction samples. So that is a box of nothing but wood. That is some cabinet doors that I'm looking for a home for. I'm hoping someone will take them off my hands. <laughs> and then this is my dump bin. This dump bin has gone from being fabric to now paper scraps. And, yep, big scraps down to little scraps. And um, this is now the first place I go when I need a little giblet of something, okay? So let's go around here. We'll start on this side. Hot mess. This is a box I'm putting together for one of my friends. I'm meeting her in a couple of weeks, and she wanted some paper and all. I'm getting ready to go to a retreat tomorrow, 
and I'm going to try my hand at felting again. So that's my to-go basket. And then let's maybe back up here a little bit. We'll do it this way. Then this is where all my fabric samples are and stuff. And I don't have a whole lot of like store-bought fabric. Um, for the most part, what I have is right there, I'd say. Um, so I've not been one to always hoard fabric through the years. Um, and then this area up here is kind of my scrap lace, my buttons, and some older items that I've kind of tried to put all together. And yeah, I probably need to do a little bit better with that, but I think it's pretty in its cluttered way. And then this is some cards and stuff that people have sent to me. I really like this rack. Um, I'm not sure. Let's me back up here again without making you seasick. Um, I like that rack. It was a candy rack, apparently. And I've put in um, paints. So they're in there by um, manufacturer for the most part. And then now my little sissy bowl. Um, sissy is my little long-haired chihuahua. And she spends time over here with me. Um, so her, she has some food and water down. And then I have some hat boxes that have, um, you know, my threads and some patterns that I actually did use. And then that basket right there, for the most part, other than that piece on top, for the most part, is one of those rugs. Remember when we took all those rugs apart? Lord have mercy, I'm not sure why I did that. And then anyway, this is what's different from the last video. If you recall, I had tables set up. Which, don't get me wrong, I loved having those tables. Um, one table had all my sewing machines on it where I could sit down, pull the machine to me, and sew. The other table had my paint stuff on it. Um, and my jelly plates and all that were underneath. But that was the problem. The tables were deeper than these shelving units. And so it made the aisle a little tighter. And then the other thing is storage. No storage really on top. I would have had to build something and I didn't want to do that. I I want, for the most part, everything in here to be portable, if that makes sense to you. So what I did was decided to go ahead and do the racks like I had already had these two on this side. Another thing that I want to tell you is that looks like three shelf units and it is standing here. They are not tied together. At one point in time, I had them where the shelves interlocked with the unit before. Well, I have separated everything, but those three shelf units are actually four shelf units. Um, because I don't need the shelves to be so far apart, I ordered an extra shelf unit and then used the shelves from it. So this first one that you're seeing right, I mean, where's my finger, right here is mostly sewing stuff. It's fabrics, it's, um, you know, up there at the top, there's some trims and, and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so in ribbons and, uh, you know, I have ribbon on, I use clothespins to wrap it around. So that's the first one. I'm going to come on this side. I guess maybe we'll get a better view. And then the next one, the top is things that I, um, give away and, um, that I want to sell and this unit here is mostly like paints and jelly plate um, things and, you know, brushes and stuff like that that you need. And then this shelf down here, um, the bottom are my to-go totes um, when I go to a retreat or something. That's how I put everything on wheels. You can see rolls of wallpaper. If you saw my little um, short video that I did when I was in the store we were able to get, oh man, tons of wallpaper. So that's the majority of it right there. Um, so those boxes, those lids are my mounted stamps. I used to have them in a, a fixture hanging on the wall, if you remember. Um, but that fixture got bumped and got broken. And I decided it's just time to do something else. I kind of do hate that it, that's taking up a shelf, but it's fine. And I have intentions of putting what's in the boxes written on the front of the box. The next shelf there with all those binders, the three binders to the left are my ATC binders. And everything else there has to do with crafts, like how-tos, things that I've done. 
And then the four binders to the right are my stencils. And then up above are the journals that I have finished. It's not all of them, but it's a lot of them. And then some cigar boxes. And then here are my carts that I still do need to organize them. Even though I've been in here about two years, I've not really gone through those carts. And I need to... Um, I think I need to do a little bit better organizing on them. But um, anyway, so that's that. Over here I have another cart, and I don't really like this cart, but it does serve its purpose. It's got my crickets, my cricket, and my cricket cartridges. But on the top right now I have um, my metal dies. I keep them in a couple of binders. There they are, and there they are. And um, they're heavy. But they are so much better. I have a lot of dies. And um, it's so much better to keep them organized. And again, work in progress. I'm trying to flatten out some smaller blueprints. Or should I say plans? These are not blue. These are the new kind done on fancy computers. And that's what's on that table there. Trying to get them flat and make a plan. So one of my favorite things about my shed is the cabinet top. Um, countertop, I should say. Um, it is not deep enough. The man did not pay attention to me when I gave him the measurements. So I do have a couple things that hang off the edge, which it's all right. Uh, you know, I've asked him to come back and let's do something, make a plan. And he's busy building stuff for his home. So I know I'm on the back burner. Maybe one day I'll get it taken care of. But for right now, I like being able to walk up here and if I want to go over there and I want to cut a piece of paper, you know, everything is just great. My binding machines um, for plastic binding and metal rings and my die cutting machines. Um, yeah, it's it's great. And then I did do lights up above. So if you are standing here. My shed is very bright. I have LED lights. But um, if you are standing here, maybe especially in the evening, um, yeah, I've had to turn them on, but um, let's see what else. And then underneath, I know a lot of people don't like the plastic bins, but I do. Um, I would like I like them because I can look in it and I can see what's in it. And I know just from looking at the front what is in that bin. Um, so it, it does work for me. And um, I don't need labels on the front of it or anything. So I like it. And again... Remember, I am working in this shed, and this is an impromptu video. So, anyway, so that's an old window that my um, brother-in-law um, had made for me. He had added some shelves, and it's one of my favorite pieces. And if you look closely here, I did a clay doorknob. Um, if you know who Sandy McTeer is, she used to do some clay classes here locally, and that was some of my favorite stuff that I did with her. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of all card stock and coffee stained paper and some magazines and stuff. And yep, I got a few things hidden back here as far as storage is concerned. All right, so now let's see what I want to do. I'll back up over here for a minute. I do have a TV and internet and stuff in here as well. My house, if you can see out the window, is close enough that um, I can get Wi-Fi and everything out here. The TV is bigger than what I wanted, but unfortunately the timing of building this is when TVs and things were hard to come by. So I guess people were doing the smaller TVs so they could do Zoom calls with family and stuff. So the TV, like I said, is a little bigger, but it's fine. And at one time I thought about mounting it on the wall and it still is crossing my mind. But I ended up buying a kitchen island for the TV. And so now I have so much stored on it and inside of it that I don't want to give it up. But it's kind of in my way for what I want to do. Um, I have some yard sale goodies back up in there. Otherwise, I can slide it in a little bit. The desk over there is where I film my YouTube videos um, when I'm showing things on my desk. Then, let's go here. So then this shelf unit, the bottom, all those wooden crates are um, 
construction samples for the most part. The one to the left is nothing but napkins. But, um, and then the one all the way to the right is full of leather samples. It's one of my treasures. And then the next shelf, let's see here, that is beads and, and jewel stuff. There's two of them. Punches, journals I want to do, um, empty storage bags, um, construction stuff, and then napkins um, are the next things. And then I have stamps there. Um, and for the most part, this is all kinds of ephemera to put into journals. Now, I do want to give a little bit of a close-up. And again, I hope I don't get you dizzy. But these things here is how I store... Hold on. These things here, if you can see them, they're thin. This is how I store my unmounted stamps. So what I do, those are each numbered, and then I have a book, and this is going to be a hot mess, but I have a book that I stamp them all in, or I might copy the picture that's on them, and then I number them corresponding to the number of the container. Um, and then up above is like all my, all my inks and, um, or re-inkers and gel pen things and, and all of that. So, yeah. There's a lot of stuff in here. I know it. Um, and then this was a... Um, I got this um, when I went to one of my first retreats in the town I was in. And, of course, my car wouldn't take it. So I had to go back the next week to get it. Excuse me. <coughs> had to go back the next week to get it. And so I keep all kinds of little chotskis and stuff in it. I've been collecting smaller little containers. I have a plan, um, but I think that's actually very pretty and shiny and sparkly. And then this is how I heat and cool the studio. Um, it's called a split unit and it works great. It's fast and yeah, it, it works. And it also has a timer. Um, I'm just figuring that out. All right, so now you can't really see a whole lot here, but this is my book collection. Um, I'm constantly going through it. When I first started getting into junk journals, I'll have to say, if it was an unusual book, I bought it. No rhyme or reason, no thought behind it. I bought it. So now I'm kind of figuring things out. So now I either take it back to Goodwill or now I might use it for some kind of scrap or a glue book or something like that. Um, but yeah, so... I'm trying to keep everything contained to two bookcases, and that's another reason why I purge. Um, I did get some books there that are on Goodwill, and I split them with my um, buddy Annette, and she loves them, and I have yet to open them. Um, but the suitcases now is something that, of all things to collect, right, are suitcases. Um, but I don't know if you noticed or not, but over there, that suitcase has journals in it that people have given to me or I've purchased. There's a couple of mine in there. Um, but I like the way you can stand them up in there and it's pretty. Now that suitcase I didn't do anything with. And again, I'm telling you, I didn't plan all this today. So let me move this. This is my, my little box with all my price stuff in it. I got a plan for that piece of metal. All right, here we go. This suitcase was one of the first ones I did. So I collaged inside. Now, I'm not really one that cares about the outside so much. Um, I have a friend that she likes to collage on the outside. I might get to that one point. But I'd like to clean them out, which let me tell you, is not always as easy as it sounds. First of all, many times they're stinky. <laughs> and and some the one I'm working on now, it's outside. It's got this webbing, like gauzy stuff in it and that I cannot get loose, and some of it's like fuzzy. But anyhow, so those are going to be gutted and cleaned out. That second one from the bottom has my Bible journaling stuff in it. It's I bought it, and it was already covered in vinyl on the inside. Um, so it's ready to go for the most part. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use them for storage. I probably will sell a few of them, um, but yeah, <laughs> so that's a big project that I have going. 
And then let's back up here now and go. This is the part that's a little embarrassing. Um, but I have six tables down the middle. So I can have friends over. Um, but I have to say, I have been putting use all putting to use all of the tables. I I, I just I don't know. I have something to do or and it's got glue. I can put it down and walk away and go to the next table. It used to be that, oh my gosh, I, I set it down and then, oh, I want to do this or I want to do that. And then I'd mess it up. So now I can literally let it sit, let it dry, go do something else, not be impatient. And um, like, for instance, let's go down here. <clears throat> let's go down here. One thing that I have been doing... <clears throat> Words, I gotta get my hand. One thing I've been doing is die cutting fabric. We all have a bunch of fabric scraps, not always the prettiest. Uh, and since I have all that upholstery fabric, but for me to sit and cut die, use these dies and cut this fabric, I don't know. It just gets to me. I want to do it, but after a certain point, I've had enough. So I can leave the things out and I can walk away. And go do something else. So right now I've been pulling some papers together. Um, to start a new journal. And that's what that little pile is. And then the book is out over there. Because I did just get some stamps. That I said I wasn't going to buy. But I did. Um, and so yeah. And this is when I have friends over. The table across the way is where I sit. Um, so I've got a lot of little things right at my fingertips. And there's plenty of room around the tables and everything. And uh, all my chairs, I do put cushions on them just in case. Every table has a trash can. And then I have some kind of usually tray or board or something on every one of the desktops. Because we all know this vinyl does give. So at that point in time, you know, if somebody does have some stamping to do, they can um, grab a board right next to them and, and stamp. Um, that one has actually a ceramic tile. But anyhow, this is my little um, studio. And like I said, I wanted to bring you back in again and see the work in progress. Um, and um, this is, like I said, it's, it's a little messy right now. And I straighten up for the most part as I go along. But that was a deal on paper that I couldn't refuse. Um, and I really don't have a place to stick it quite yet, but I'll work on it. <laughs> I will work on it. But anyhow, so that's it. Give you one more kind of panoramic view. And, um, please, if there's anything that you saw that you might have a question about, please let me know. Um, I do have some tips, I would say, as far as putting a she shed together, um, you know, that might save you some aggravation. And um, anyhow, that's it. Again, I appreciate you. And come back and check me out. And please have a good day and be safe. And I'll catch you going down the road. Bye.